Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's understand the concept of concurrency in GitHub Actions. Let's say I have a workflow that builds an Angular application and uh, it gets triggered whenever there is a commit to the main branch or it can be run manually. And uh, let's say I have uh, two developers they are working on uh, user stories and defects. One of the work, uh, one of the developer is working on validating the form data, and the other developer is working on fixing the defect. And uh, both of them are uh, working on similar files. Uh, they changes include common files. So uh, let's say both of them completed their work almost at the same time and merged their PRs into the main branch uh, in quick succession. This will trigger multiple workflows at the same time. And this might lead to inconsistencies because uh, when there are multiple uh, workflows triggered at the same time, by default, GitHub will run these workflows in parallel. So the order of completion is not guaranteed. It might, run, it might complete the workflow that uh, fixes the defect first and uh, starts deploying it, or it might complete the validate form data first and then it starts deploying it. So uh, it might lead to inconsistencies or race conditions because uh, both the packages are to be deployed at the same time and one package might be uh, overriding the other package so we might not have all changes so in order to avoid these uh, scenarios we have an option called concurrency this will allow us to streamline our workflows so that we don't run into conditions where uh, our changes might be overridden so let's see how to use this option with an example so I have opened the workflow that is responsible for building the Angular application and uh, uh, it just uh, sets up the Node.js, installs dependencies, builds the application and uh, uploads artifacts. Uh, we might have uh, additional jobs here that would uh, uh, deploy the artifacts but for now I don't have those steps so it would just upload artifacts and that's it. Let's try to uh, trigger this uh, workflow multiple times. But before that, let me just add a sleep condition because uh, we never know how much time our uh, build takes, right? So let me add another step where uh, it sleeps for uh, 10 seconds and commit the changes. So here I'll say sleep 10. I'll commit. I'll make one more change. Uh, let's say I added some space and I'll commit it again. We should see two workflows trigger. Let's go to view runs. And uh, we see sleep 10 and uh, update build angular uh, running at the running parallelly. So let me go back and add concurrency. So I want the workflow to wait if there are any previously triggered workflows in progress. So at the workflow level, after uh, events, just uh, put a keyword concurrency. And this has two options, group and cancel in progress. So uh, we, if we want to group workflows where we want to uh, streamline them, we can create a group name. For example, this is a workflow that is responsible for building Angular application, which is nothing but CI, right? Continuous integration. So I'll say CI. And uh, we might have other build uh, uh, workflows, right? So it's better to give the workflow name as well that can be obtained using environment variable github dot workflow it will create a group whose name is ci hyphen build angular app any workflow with this name build angular app will wait for the previous workflows 
until and unless all the previous workflows are uh, completed it won't start uh, running to do that we have to set cancel in progress to false so that it doesn't cancel but it will wait for the uh, previously triggered in progress workflows so let me uh, commit the change now i'll trigger this workflow twice to see how it works so i'm committing the changes for the first time i'll edit again and uh, commit the changes i'll go to view runs now we'll see two workflows triggered but if you observe the first workflow the workflow with number 38 is in progress while the other workflow with number 39 is waiting for the previous workflow to complete and if you open the summary tab you'll see what is the workflow that's making this uh, workflow to wait so if i click on that it took me to the previous workflow with number 38 once this is completed it will start running the workflow number 39 So let's wait for it to complete. Uh, it is. It has uploaded and it is completed now. If we go back, we see that it was pending initially. Now it was changed to uh, queued and it's in progress now. So it it waited for the previous workflow to uh, complete. Only then this workflow was triggered. Now let's go back and. Uh, update cancel in progress to true and see how it works i'll edit and update this to true i'll commit the changes first time and i'll commit them again i'll just add a space commit go to view runs now a uh, workflow number 40 is cancelled and workflow number 41 started triggering let me just refresh the screen so that we see updated uh, status so if i go to update build angular it says cancelled because cancelling since a higher priority waiting request for ci build angular app exists so this is the group name that we have given there is another workflow with the same group name uh, and since we used cancel in progress as true this workflow was cancelled and the latest workflow was triggered so this workflow uh, number 41 is in progress and it is completed now so this is how you can uh, achieve the sequential execution of your workflows by grouping them and setting cancel in progress flag to true or false if you set it to true it will cancel all the previously triggered workflows and it will start running the latest workflow if it is set to false it will wait for the previously triggered in progress workflows to complete only then the latest workflow will be triggered i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you